Ali McKenzie for that uh, footage of, of Paddy Gal, who at 29 is slightly older than Freddie Kiewit uh, tonight at the welterweight limit, as you say, both at 147 pounds. Similar records, 15 wins from 19, four defeats for Gallagher, never been stopped, two defeats for Kiewit, never been stopped. Likewise, it's a, an intriguing matchup with the, the very much taller uh, Kiwit and uh, Paddy Gallagher, who's uh, got in specialist uh, sparring with Stephen Donnelly to replicate the, the size and reach and, and shape of Kiwit. This is an intriguing one for the WBO Euro belt over 10 rounds at 147 pounds. And win this, and you get an automatic ranking, don't you, in the top 15? So it is a big, big step forward for whoever comes out on top. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the red corner of the ring, Freddie Kiwi. Well, he's got a remarkable backstory, Freddie Kiwit. German dad who, who went to live and work in Liberia back in the 80s, met a, a local lady, fell in love, and then a son was born. It very much a, a time of strife in that particular country through the, the turn of the 90s when Freddie was born, and, and when he was just two weeks old, they fled back to Germany. Here he is in the UK and fighting for a title and he knows as much as Paddy Gard does as well how important this is tonight for both men. He has trained diligently for it and he feels that he's got so much on his side. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the blue corner of the ring, Paddy Gallagher. Well, Paddy Gallagher. Scott as well, I don't know if he looks like Robocop or, or what, but there's no doubt, he might be Iron Man, potentially, and he is something of an Iron Man, that's for sure, he is one tough nut, and he, he said in the build-up to this one, that man, that, you know, he knows everything's set up for him to go and win, he knows he's the home fighter, he's supposed to win, but he's been training and focusing on the very best that Freddie Kiewit can be, and he is prepared for a tough, hard night. He might well get his wish tonight, folks, you know. Ladies and gentlemen, we have come to that time of the evening. This is the main event of the evening. Ten rounds for the vacant WBO welterweight title. Our officials ringside, our chief steward, Des Reese, our secondary rep, Roger Barber. Our judges for this contest are from England, Marcus McDonald, from Italy, Valerio Mosca, and from Hungary, Benzi Kovacs. Your referee at the bell is Mr. Steve Gray, and your timekeeper is Bob Edgeworth. And now, the officials ringside are ready. The fighters are in the ring, and they are ready. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are ready to see some action, make some noise. Introducing first, Fighting out of the red corner. He weighed in officially at 10 stone, 6.7 ounces, with a professional record of 13 wins, seven by knockout and two losses. All the way from Liberia by way of Islington, London, Freddie, pretty boy, Kiwi. 
and introducing his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner. He also weighed in at 10 stone, 6.7 ounces, with a professional record of 15 wins, nine by way of knockout, and four losses. From Belfast, Northern Ireland, please welcome Patty Patman Gallagher! <laughs> Referee Steve Gray will now give his instructions. Well, the crowd are into it, and th these two fighters are absolutely focused and prepared. It's such a big moment in both their careers. And we know that Paddy Gallagher is, is prepared to, to walk through the odd wall. Take a step back, don't throw punches over the head, protect yourself at all times. Touch punch, come on, lads. Intriguing matchup, this is Paddy. It is, because, you know, there's such a height difference, but also, you know, has Cubic got enough snap in his shots? You know, to keep someone like Gallagher away, and that's going to be, you know, the footwork's going to be important, but also enough pop in that jab's going to be very important to keep Gallagher at bay. Well, he looks so sort of wide and strong for the way, Gallagher. And you've got the, the range and the, the height of Kiwit. He's got that fantastic stoppage win from a couple of years ago, or a year and a half ago, really, when he... He beat uh, Eric Ochieng in, in this yep. very ring here in your call. And shows the, the, what he's capable of. Even though, although Ochieng maybe obviously not the, the fighter he was a few years previously. And good de defence from Gallagher, not something that people normally well, associate with but him. He, he does sit on that back foot, but you've got to be careful. With someone like Kibbit there with the long arms, he will just throw three straight punches. And you know, that, that leaning back, you've got nowhere else to go there. That's good there from Gallagher. Better rolling underneath the shots. Both just trying to work out the range. Bit of missing and shaping going on from the pair of them. Nice little jab there from Kibbit. Yeah, and you, could, you can see the, the template. Kiwi trying to get that jab off and move. Hands up a little bit low. And again, a little bit with the fingers there with that left hook. We're still a scoring shot there from Kiwi. And a good right hand there from him also. We saw with Gallagher where the, the Titanic was back in, where he fought December and October, didn't he? But when he, when he fought Jay Byrne, that night, when it was head clashes and everything, he was just yeah. he was prepared just to, to do whatever <laughs> it takes. Nice little jab there again there from Kiwit. Keeping plenty mobile, which he's gonna have to. He's not stunned. As soon as he gets that jab off, he's he's away. But Gallagher also knew he got plenty of time, you know, just just set the tempo, keep keep Kiwit under pressure. Make him punch when he doesn't want to punch. And you fancy that there probably will come a time when he was going to have to put a little bit more about yeah. behind them. And he's going to have to hold his feet at some point. Oh, nice. nice little uppercut. Turned in two, yeah. Kiwi. That was clever. Pivot was lovely, wasn't it? Well, this is the pattern of the fight that we all expected. I think it's going to be a nice little right hand there from Gallagher. Actually, Gallagher jab. Getting through. Oh, I think he's just motioning Kibbe's off balance here. Well, it was an intriguing setup in that first round. The, the template is kind of said, was that the sort of light jab of, of Kiwit and the movement are not enough in that first round. I think so. I think mean, even though I think Gallagher finished the round strong there for sure. But and, and even though he got tight to close the ring, but for me I think mean, just that maybe just a little bit more sprightly work of, of, of Kiwit was enough to, to, to give him a nod in that round.
see Lee Manuel in the in the corner. He's a decent uh, fighter himself from Liberia. L like Kiwit, he, he had to flee the country as well. He went off to, to Spain, had a, a gym there him, himself, and this pair have been united for the last few years and, and hoping that their story is going to run a little further together. Oh, there's a cut. You can see blood on the shorts of yep. right Kiwit. Eye. It's the right eye. Oh, the right eye there, Kiwit. I'm not sure if that's where, in that last little punch that Gallagher threw in the first round where the elbow came, followed the right hand. I'm not sure whether maybe that's what might, might have happened. Certainly that was, uh, he was sort of motioning with his arm, elbow, shoulder, yeah. wasn't he, Kiwi, at the end of that. I don't know if that was just sort of protesting about the knockdown or actually the, the connection of the punch, but either way. Good little response there from Kiwi. Oh. The roof. There's good right hand from Gallagher. Shakes it off, Kiwi, but he's, you know, the pressure's coming now from from Gallagher, and he's also strong. It's good. He doesn't really look like a welterweight now, does he? No. Oh, clipped by a couple sharp, fast shots there from Kiwit. Oh, this is going to get lively, I think. I think Kiwit's going to have to work so hard to keep Gallagher off him. Nice shot, right hand from Kiwit there a minute ago. Look at that right hand from Gallagher. A couple of body shots from Kiwit. That could be the, the way to play it, but I think it may be worrying signs for Kiwit and the team how how quickly Gallagher's managed to close the gap. Yeah, I know he just looks a little bit of, just untidy, doesn't he, Kiwit? Early on. Trying to surprise that. Mouth open a little bit, good body shots, but well, you just wonder is he busting a gap here early on and early on. Oh, That's nice good. left hand from Kiwit. Gets through with another couple. Gallagher yeah, maybe just guilty of loading up a little bit. He's got a good jab, Barry, when he uses it. Yeah. I, for me, I just think there's more weight on the shots of Gallagher. That's been the difference for me. You know, Kiwi standing with the more shots. See there, quality in the, quality in the punches there from Gallagher. Nice movement from Kiwi. Quickly managed to get beyond his man. Oh, it's a beautiful jab there from Kiwit. Yeah, he's got back to his boxing. Last nice 30 seconds. Yeah, good round. Really, really good round. Gallagher closing the gap, looking strong, getting through with a few. And then a, a, rate, a late sort of boxing report from Kiwit. I think Gallagher thought he had him at one point, to be honest, because that was a lovely right hand, and it looked like Kibbert was giving him hint. A little bit of tidy, but he seemed to get his boxing together really well there, didn't he, for the second half of that round. The pressure was telling for at the beginning of the round there from, from Gallagher. Maybe the cut, maybe he panicked a little bit. There's that good right hand there, spinning. Kiwit around and it looked like Gallagher was going to be in the centre, but Kiwit, Kiwit came backwards and finally was off. But he might have just got a bit of confidence from, from that sort of late rally when he got back to his yep. boxing. <laughs> well, Paddy Gallagher actually lost to, to Eric Oxy and Natalie very early on in, in his career. That was some f four or five years ago in that prize fighter. So that was the, yeah. the, the strange prize fighter that the Ocheng won, and then he collapsed, didn't he? Yeah, to, right, yeah. to be yeah. stretched out, and Gallagher sort of got a second, but he got a reprieve. And that goes to the final. Three rounds three against three Johnny Coyle. Yeah. Well, no one beats no one beat Johnny Coyle over three rounds. No, he went, he went down a couple of times <coughs> in that contest as, as well, but... Looking strong at the weight, though, Gallagher. 
Good right He's hand and pivot there though from um, Kiewit. Well, you would, you would think with, with Kiewit that you'd have just been practicing drill, you know, the same drill yeah. again and again and again. You know, two, three punches, move off to the side. Yeah, true. Sure, two, three punches, just boom, boom. Just do that again and again and again. Is the right tack, this one, Kiwi, the little smash yeah. and grab. Yeah, absolutely. And sometimes he did it in the previous round, didn't he? Lead with the right hand, glancing blow, let his momentum take him past Gallagher. Just slipped on a, a bit of water on the apron. So Kiwi knows what is, he's got to do. I think the question is, A, a can he do it, but, or B, will Gallagher let him? Well, to be honest, the footwork has kept Gallagher quiet so far in this round. He's closing the gap, trying to close the gap. But not landing with anything yet, Gallagher. No. A minute to go. Then with Gallagher, though, because he's not, because these shots are not having no effect on him at all, he, he won't even think they're scoring punches. Oh, that's a good right hand there from Kiwit. But the three judges ringside might. Daddy, Ben Kovac from, from Hungary, Valeria Mosca from Italy, Marcus McDonald from England as well, the three judges scoring this one tonight. This little left hook from Gallagher, just a second ago. First little scoring shot for him in this round. Your pal is again. This one's ringside today, isn't he, as well? Cool, cool. Ah, great fighter. Best fighter in the room by a million miles. Oh, that was good. Getting through with a, a straight right hand there, Gallagher. He did, sort of, that sort of basic one-two combination does work well for him. Good finish to the round from Gallagher. He's made to miss uh, no, no, for two no, no, and a half minutes. It. It wasn't enough. Feet were a little bit too slow, and, and or, or more importantly, the, the footwork of Kim was fast and constantly mobile in the early part of the round. And then as, as, as the round got on, then Gallagher said, the, 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 the closer to the target, get landed the body, and then make these punches tell. And that right hand right through the guard was a, was a good shot for him, but it might be just a little bit too little too late in that round. the fourth round. So Gallagher, he got to just work that body now. It was a 10-round fight, slow those legs down. Well, he's, he's come out with a little bit of intensity as if he, that's exactly what he's attempting to do. Straight body shot from Gallagher there. That was a nice right hand again there from Kiewit. And that's important for Kiewit, when he throws that shot to move away, Overemphasize the shot. Take a spin off, it's clear to see nothing comes back. And Gallagher are gonna slide that front foot in a lot, a lot quicker than it is at the minute. A bit more head movement coming forward as well for Gallagher, he needs. Oh, heads came close together. Just carry his hands low, Kiewit. Again, quick feet from Kiewit, though. That was good. A little bit more of that, that little change direction. Oh, nice left two landing again, and not much from Gallagher. So strong, though, isn't he, Gallagher? Yes. You know, he's being all boxed a bit, you know, he can still chug him forward, nothing pushing him back. He's a, he's a very, very sort of 
Similar physical makeup to Canelo, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> sort of similar stalk and, and build and, and width. Then we kill it. He can't hold his feet for a minute. Once those feet slow, he's going to be in trouble with Gallagher. Tried to faint Gallagher there. He didn't bite one oh, bit. Good left, good left hook there from Gallagher. Final 30 seconds. This round's still up for grabs, maybe. And might be that sort of fight, Barry, that carries on like this. And... Wow, good shot there from Gallagher, lovely shot. Maybe this pressure from, from Gallagher just down the stretch of a, a round could be significant. But it's what you remember, that all, the, all the quality work at the end of the round, but for two minutes it was all Kiwit. Yeah, that, that's true. But un unlike the previous round, Barry, which I thought he would just nick, I sort of sense that there was just so much more on the, what shots there were from Gallagher yeah. that that might have swayed him. But I, I, I think people might argue about this, first of all. For me, though, there's not a lot of, lot of weight on the shots of Kiwit, but he's, he's been moving around all the time. He's done it. Bruce has taken a punch for the first two minutes, and he's landed with sticky little shots, piling up the points. Just Gallagher off balance there, he just dipped his legs a little bit, that was all. But, but when he does land, Gallagher, there are qualities in his world, the weight punches through the target. So they have more of an effect than maybe, especially when he's finishing the wrong strong. So that might sway the judges, but not for me. Yeah, I, I think this is tough. I thought definitely first round was here I thought. Uh, second round, Gallagher. Yeah. Uh, the last two, just, you could argue about. Way. Yeah, second yeah. round. I think you could argue about the last two. Fast hands, Kiewit, start of this round. Gallagher's closing the distance so Kiwi can't jump into any attacks, so that's what he's been his success. Getting a bit of space and diving in with his long arms and just sneaking off a couple of shots. Gallagher smothers that there, then, then, then Kiwi got a, got a throw when Gallagher got the throw, and that'll sue Gallagher. Really, very nearly, very nearly walked onto right hand there, Kiwi. Took one there, good shot from Gallagher. Oh, body shot. Pressed over the discipline of Kiwit. He knows exactly what he has to do, and he's trying to implement the, the tactics. So that's good for Gallagher. Lovely body shot. That'll slow the legs down with Kiwit. Yeah, and it just appears that he, he sort of... All those little skirmishes that he's the one sort of pushing back and coming out, looking the better and the stronger. And again, good left hook on the break there from Gallagher. Good fight back though there from Kiwit. And he's been made to, to work and move yeah. every single second of every round, Kiwit. Tangled up in the ropes there, Kiwit. Just allowing him too much time here, Gallagher. But he's had Kiwis back against almost every side of the, the ring here, against the ropes, hasn't he, throughout this round. It's been a good round for Gallagher so far. Oh, oh he's gone down. Is that feet? Was he clipped? Oh, he's counting. Must admit, I didn't quite see it, whether it was just off balance. You know? Protesting too much, Gallagher. I think he's more just annoyed that it happened. I think he got, I think he got caught with his feet square on his heels. Well, and that was a round that he was winning. Picked off the range. Maybe a bit of confidence for Freddie Kiewit. 
Might just have needed it. Good thing is, though, Gallagher wasn't hurt by that shot, so he was not going to affect him that way. Just psychologically, the kid had given it a bit of a G up. Good from Gallagher, though. Well, it was a, a big round in every other way for Gallagher. It probably bought the scorecards. <laughs> and, uh, and little things like that can make a massive difference when it comes to you know, if it goes the distance because you know, that was a wrong that was in the bag there for Gallagher. But most will give that a 10 8 round. The other way, though, that's the problem. Could not automatically. He, could, he, could, he just slid that front foot in much quicker to the side of Gallagher and worked away and smothered the road and quick, quickly for, for most of that run. Didn't allow time or space to jump into his attacks. He, he was on top of the head. Maybe if anything, he looked good behind the, behind the head. It's almost the, the inside of the arm, wasn't it? But he was completely square, and I think mean, yeah. that's why he, he yeah, was annoyed at himself. Well, it's, it's just possible that that pushes Freddie Kubert into quite a, a healthy lead past halfway. Yeah, quite, yeah, it's I possible. Think, for me, on the scorecards, he's got a big lead in a fight that he's not ma massively winning, you know. I, I mean, on the scorecards, he is, it's contradicting. I mean, but it, you know, it's a hard fight for him, it's a, and every round's very close, but I think he's the one picking up the points, and obviously that knocked on there, swung around that he was losing into his favour. Yeah, well, I must admit, I haven't even registered a score for, for the fourth round, because I just found it so difficult. I, I was tempted to make <laughs> it 2-2 two, two after four, and so Kiwit two points up after after five, but I, it, it could be, I think you had it one point the other way, yeah. so you've got him up by three, have you, yeah. Kiwit? Yeah, and yet, Gallagher, I'm sure his fans listening and, and watching uh, from wherever, back home or, or across the countries, wherever, probably think he's he's pushing back, he's looking the stronger guy, he's landing the harder shots when he lands, and they, they probably suspect he's winning everything, but... It's good from Kiewit there, good little movement. But Gallagher's not undeterred, though, keeps coming forward and is closing the rings, he's landing on target, though, he's letting Stanton let his hands go a little bit more frequent than he was in the earlier rounds, but he was just stalking too much for me. Short little left hook there from Gallagher before that right hand in the back of the head. Oh, lovely uppercut. That's a beautiful shot pick there by Kiewit. Oh, good right hand there from Gallagher. A little bit of a slip from Kiewit, but oh, got him again. Back comes. Is Gallagher in bother now as he backs off? Was it an issue of balance? Certainly a slip from Kiewit, and suddenly they're all letting it hang out. Kiewit with this loose style of his, coming back with some languid shots. I think Kiewit knows now he's, he's got to dig his feet in yeah. a little bit, and he's doing that. And he's pinned in that corner, a couple of body shots from Gallagher. Kiewit cleverly ties him up. And we've got a bit of a fight now. Looks so, so strong, Gallagher. And also, then the left hook on the top of the head made his legs do a little bit of a dance. Recovered, though, I think. Yeah, Good jab there from Kibbit. And kind of doubled up a bit of the power, but Gallagher always coming forward, walking straight onto it. Bringing Kibbit back to his boxing. <laughs> Good right hand there from Gallagher after he takes a jab from Kibbit. Because the mouth's been open since the second round, Kira, but it's not really dipped as much as you, you might have thought. Good draw there, with the one. Yeah, with the one, both having success there as well. Piles and piles of pressure from Gallagher, and then some really clever boxing in the second half of the round from Kira. Look tired from really Kiewit from the second round on. He's looked tired. Well, I said his mouth, cool. well, yeah, his mouth is open second round, and yet yeah, it's not like he's actually falling apart. Oh, yeah, I love your combination there from, from Gallagher at the start of the round. Real solid left and a right. And again, takes a good uppercut and lands a good right hand back in the zone. And I, I, I saw sense, buddy. You know, the, the bigger shot, so he's gone there on the ropes for a minute there, Gallagher. That left hook 
to the rope shot, something some against the rope. And the uppercut before yeah. that, you know, they're the two really big shots you remember from the round. Well, really good clash of styles and the contrast of approach here from the pair of them. Sort of unrelenting pressure, sometimes crude from Paddy Gallagher. As he gets a body shot through. That's yeah, good there from Kivit again. The right hand though from Gallagher. This is that Lennon's hands going out, forcing in the pace. That's good. I wonder what the two corners are making of it, how they're reading it. And you just sense the Pat, the Pat Gallagher corner and, and Gallagher himself, they, they surely must have thought that by this stage they'd have been making an yeah. impression. Well, he is. But then Kiewit, you know, every, you know Kiewit just comes to life every now and again, doesn't he? Yeah, nice, like that. Nice body shot from Kiewit. But, you know, we've gone a minute. It's a good start from Gallagher, isn't it? Yeah. That's nice good, though, from Kiewit there. Good little response. Good fight. Yes. And still a relatively long way to go, given the, the pace and the pressure. And all the while you're watching it, you, you are wondering, is there just going to come a moment when the pressure and the pace is going to get to Kiwi. You keep sort of half expecting him, him, him to unravel. Unless Gallagher nails him with something that really takes the energy away, I can't see it. And he's not, yeah, exactly. No. He, he's no, no, no sign yet. Oh, nice right hand from Gallagher. You, you fancy he's winning the round? Yeah, he is, yeah. For me, so far, he is. You've seen, oh. that, seen that change, though? Yeah, nice right hand, though, from Gallagher there. And that, that was when Kiwi was sort of supposedly out of range, and that's something he's been doing so well throughout the fight. Is that maybe just a little telltale sign now? Back comes Kiewit. Would you believe it? Every time he looks like he's out of the world, he comes back. And he's pushing Gallagher back to the ropes, and he's getting through with shots. Kiewit showing that he's more than just the boxer. It's been a good... In methodical pace from Gallagher, but you've set the pace, you haven't deterred from it at all. Just keep plodding forward, and then those hands go. Good work time from Gallagher. And he's kind of back to where he was before. There was that little skirmish from Kiewit, and as, as much as it was entertaining and as, as impressive as it was and courageous as it was, you do fancy that sort of 80% of the round belonged to, to Gallagher there, maybe to bridge the gap. Yeah, for me, I, I think you know, I think Kimmich does well when he's under pressure. Just keeps that body rolling, he keeps constantly moving and fires back. Not to be overwhelmed by Gallagher, but Gallagher just you know, set his stall up from the offset in that round. For me, I just think it's methodical work. Pumping those arms out, the right hands like there, we we'll see it there. It was enough to give him the nod in that round and pull around back. Yeah, but I, I think you've got it slightly wider than me, Barry, and I will, I'm watching this fight all the way through, I'm perfectly prepared for this to not be the way it, that I've scored yeah, it yeah. completely, because I think it's that sort of sort of fight, given the contrast and stuff. I, I've got, I've got Kimmich clear by two with, with a couple to go. I think that knockdown is going to be a pivotal thing, and I really do. It's easy to say that, but I, think, I really think it is. Oh, right hand to start the eighth round. We've got three to go. Does Barry Gallagher need to, to pull it out of the bag? Well, the judge has been impressed by his pressure. We shall see. Crowd getting... Oh, big right hand from Kiewit again. Gallagher takes him out and fires back. Is there another twist? Is there another significant symbolic moment uh, as there was in that fifth round? And it just one sort of careless moment. Potentially could cost Gallagher. 
and, and a decent shot. They come on top of the head, you know, they, they, they really upset you. They scramble the sensors at times. You know, you feel fine, your legs just up, your legs can betray you. Cheers of Ole 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 going up, uh, particularly uh, across the balcony here, up above, up above us, it's a uh, York Hall. Uh, it's very much the, the Irish song, isn't it? One of the Irish songs, we should say, there are many. Oh, another right hand getting through from Kiwit. <laughs> but has to take another left from Gallagher and right hand from Gallagher as well. Kiwit actually, he must have realised the dream to an extent. He actually fought in Accra, Ghana back in December yeah. to sort of get back on the bike and back on the road and, and back to winning ways. Yeah, that's good from Gallagher. Nice up the cut and then left up to the body. Steve Gray having a, a good look. He's on right up close seeing them. That's where Gallagher's wanted to be all night. Here's Gallagher the stronger down the stretch. For me, he kept that, he's kept that methodical pace in this run in the last for me, Gallagher. And Kiwi said flashes of success. And he'll probably feel that, you know, there's not been much on the Kiwi shots, and he'll be oh, saying, well, well... I said that earlier on, you know, he walks through your shots, and he, he, he's blocking most of them, he'll feel them. But they haven't got a rocket to the oh, oh, is that another knock turn? It's a big, long right hand. He's sending him to the corner, Steve Green. He's taking up the count. Wow, it's another significant moment. And there was a right hand landed. Would you believe it? He's done it again, Freddie Kiewit. Again, from nowhere. A round, another round that he was losing. Another round that he was losing, and he's turned it around with one shot. And Gallagher... Now trying to let loose with just a few seconds on the clock. Well, they say timing in sport is absolutely everything. And what is, as well as Freddie Kimmett has boxed tonight, Barry, and, and as courageous and tough as he's had to be at times, he's kind of had the equivalent of a couple of last-minute goals. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. And, and you know, we tend to think that, but well, no, he's, he's going to need a knockout to us. Or a stop, he's going to put the knockout to the zone. No, Gallagher, to be honest, in a round that he was winning. Well, you can give those two knockdown rounds that he, hit, that he got knocked out that he was winning. You can, you can make him... Nine, nine rounds, really, if you wanted to. You, know, you take the point of it at the end of the fight, of course, but that's what they would you know, sort of really be. But still, they were rounds that were winning, and rounds that he didn't win. And but most people will give that 10 8 rounds. It's a knockdown. He's not hurt. It's a flash knockdown. He's a knockdown. So, you know, for me now, in, in a lot of close rounds, and them two rounds he was winning have gone the other way, he's up against an O'Gallagher. Well, two, I mean, the fifth and the, and the eighth. Both Whoa. rounds he was winning, Gallagher. <laughs> and, you know, on my card, it, he'd, he'd probably be in front just had he won those both those rounds. I think he'd, I think he'd just be in front. So, w what an amazing thing sport is. Well, for me, if he would have won those rounds, you know, like ten nines, then I think I think I, 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 he can still win the fight. For me, I still have him behind. And do you, but not just by on, much. And on a general point, Barry, do you, do you think uh, shot the, there from Gallagher? The sort of score, the 10-8 the scoring of around 14 knockdown, given the, the the pattern of a fight like this that we've observed, do you think it's a fair? Well, it's sometimes, it's sometimes not fair, but what you do, you start, you, know, you start getting to 10-9 rounds and 10-8 for dominating, 10-7 for knockdowns, and 10-6 and a yeah. half. Where it, do you it, go? Where does it end? Yeah, you have to have some sort of stop point. But again, it doesn't have to be a 10-8 round, it's up to the judges. Could, uh, you know, it's, it's his problem whether he gives that or not. And also, if you're winning a round clearly, that's the thing, Gallagher wasn't winning a massive, he was just winning the round. So I think they, they would probably still be 10-8 rounds the other way. And of all the, the scenarios tonight, I, I think we, we, we <laughs> set it up beforehand and we got the fight that we kind of imagined tactically. But of all the scenarios, I, I suspect that if there were knockdowns imagined, People might have way. thought it was it yeah. was going to be the other way. You, you have to, no matter what, and, and how you viewed this this fight one way or another, you really have to admire the the discipline and the, the resolve and the, the 
the, the reaction and the retaliation from Freddie Kiewer but, but, when he's had but, to. But the skills, because he looks like he's unraveling a type. Oh, good shot from Gallagher. Lovely right hand. Kiewer took it well, though, to his credit, but it was a crunching right down from Gallagher. But his style looks like he's unraveling sometimes, Kiewer, but I think that's just the way he is. Down on his knees, manages to, to spin away out of the car. Oh, there's still some energy in those legs late on in this second last round. And even the, the rounds that he's lost, there's been that retaliation from Kiewer. I think it's probably a frustrating night for Gallagher. He was so annoyed at himself, wasn't he, in that fifth when he went down. Good right hand there from Kiewer. Well, just well, Gallagher thought he would have slowed him down, and, 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 and so did we all, let's be honest. But it hasn't, it hasn't worked. The pressure hasn't slowed him down. He's coped very well with it, Kiewer. That's good from Gallagher, though, again, that right hand on the forehead. And a jab as well. Closing seconds of the second last round. With a bit of a blemish on the left eye of Gallagher now too. In hellishly competitive the nine rounds so far. With one more round to go. How did you score that one, Barry? Oh, for Gallagher, for me, he had the constant pressure. Keep it down with some lovely shots and some lovely moves, but for me, I think the, the pressure that Gallagher was doing in that round. One more round. I think it's, a, it's not even a knockdown. I think it's a, it's a knockout. Potentially required. I, I think so. I think there's been a couple of rounds that I give to Kiwi that you, that you could have maybe oh. given to Gallagher, but not Thanks. enough for me to have him ahead, especially with those two 10 8 rounds, which they uh, most surely they will be scored that way. Yeah, I've got him trailing by three going into the last round. Here we go then. Either way. Oh, big right hand from Gallagher. Who comes out, perhaps knowing that he, he needs something significant, if not special. Oh, good left hook there from Gallagher, lovely shot. Yeah, was he off balance there? Kibbutz still, he's on the move. He seems to have his wits about him, but you fancy there might be some drama yet. Gallagher's throwing everything at him. Kibbutz covering up. I think you're right, Barry. It, it, it is Kiewit's style. He's sort of yeah, languid. Looks, yeah, it looks like he's falling apart, doesn't it? It happened like the middle, in, the, in the early rounds, you know? But it's just the way he is, yeah. And the mouth has been open since the second round, but he's still moved, he's still kept it up, still trying to stick to his boxing. And Gallagher's just kept coming forward all night long. You've got to go throw that first right hand to the chest, Gallagher. Stop that movement. Then let that right hand over the top go. Well, jab to the chest first. <laughs> Just a, a bit one-paced, Gallagher. You well, can't fault the effort in this round, oh. though, from Gallagher. He knows he needs a, he's a big, huge round, possibly more for me. They might feel a big roll might swing, swing in their way. Crowd trying to help out too. Oh, it's good there, back from Kiewit. <laughs> Fighting back, it is. We've seen this seesaw one or two times throughout the, the night so far. But well, we, we've still got a, a couple of fights to come. And some guys who sort of chunk a ticket, so hopefully they'll be making some noise, but this was really the, the top of the bill, and it has not disappointed at all. That's some good responses here, Kiri, but that jab there from Gallagher was a lovely shot. And it's such a heavy jab when he, yeah. when he lands and uses it. But when he gets some forward momentum and pushes forward, it just sure is. Kiri celebrating. That's still half a minute to go. 
Gallagher clipped a couple of times. Well, you can't fault the effort from either fighter, can you? Let's be honest. And what goes through your mind in these moments when you're exhausted and... Just keep pumping your arms up, keep working, that's it. You don't think about the bell. And there it goes to end the contest. for both these warriors. They put on a great, great show for us. After 10 great rounds, we go to judges' scorecards. Judges Mark, judges Mark McDonald scored about 93, 95 kibbits. Judge Benzi Valeri Moscow scored about 95, 95. Judge Benzi Kovac scored about 94-95, declaring a winner by majority decision, and the new WBO welterweight champion, he's fighting out of the red corner, Freddy Principal Kievans! And ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause for Patty Pacman Gallagher! Well, the, the scorecards on the line, it, it, a draw and one, one and two points on, on the others, how pivotal those knockdowns were in the, in the fifth and eighth rounds, but also underlines how tight a contest it was otherwise. And I wonder whether the judges, like you said earlier, didn't give it a 10-8 round, they gave it the, well, you get you get a 10-9 to the guy who won the round, then you took the point at the end of the fight, so it's sort of 9-9, whether they did that, because for me, 
if he didn't do that, I, I got killed massively ahead. And if he do that, I still got him, for me, two or three points ahead. Got to say, fair play to uh, Gallagher. He was straight over to, to Freddie Kiewit to offer his hand in, in congratulations. Because that, that loss will be, will be a tough one for Gallagher to take, Barry. It will do, can he do that again? Because you know, when you're the guy put force in the pace and put it over pressure, and probably land him in the heavier shots, especially earlier on in the fight, and you probably feel that your work quality over quantity sort of thing, and that's an area, so he didn't feel, didn't seem that disappointed, but he's a sportsman, I go to the government change room, and he'll be devastated. That's another loss, he's never been totally out past Gallagher in a real fight, forget about that prize fight and stuff, no, no, in, a, in, a proper, in a proper professional format, he's never been out totally out past or on form, so he'll be disappointed with that. But you'd be hoping, you'd be hoping that He'll be thinking about bouncing back and, and using that as a springboard as, as opposed to, to any other sort of negative thoughts. But Barry, for, <laughs> it's all about Kiewit now for the, the time being and this really does set him up. Well, more than, more than just give him a European rating, or a world rating, obviously now with, with, with the W European title, it puts him in the mix automatically with what's going on in the British scene right now. And we've got Johnny Garden, who was in one of the fights of the year last year, winning the British title against Gary Kokoran. You know, for the, for, the, for the Lonsdale belt, for the British belt, world title. And I'm sure Kiewit would want to be mentioned in no sort of circles. And, and you know, Bradley Skeet's still around. There's, there's loads of names around there with him. And he's you no, know, maybe he hasn't shown to be at that level, but beating Gallagher, he's shown now that he's there and he's a name and people got to be aware, aware of him because he's up and coming. By Freddie, uh, no, I've got to say, if ever a victory was hard earned, that was it. What a tough fight! Yeah, it was, it was indeed. Yeah, what were the keys to victory for you? Because we were really impressed you managed to stick to your boxing and keep your discipline throughout. Yeah, that was the plan keep, keep him long, box, let him miss, make him pay for it. How tough was it though? How much pressure was there from Paddy Gallagher? Yeah, it was a lot, not just from him, from the whole time. I'm coming as a as their way fighter. Um, I mean, so much going on in the build-up, a lot of issues, and um, I'm happy I made it, and, uh, and, and I got a victory as well. So, um, respect to Gallagher. He came to fight, he came to win, and uh, I got a victory. You did indeed, and it was an amazing fight to watch. You you overcome things early on in, in your life. You've overcome lots of things in the last couple of years with management and so on and, and so forth. How, how sweet is this victory for you? What yeah. does it mean to you? No, I'm my own manager, so I got extra load on my shoulders. Um, I was mentally free, so that's why, you know, I, um, I was able to concentrate just on the fight. I just had a baby as well, two months ago. So, um, yeah, a lot of new changes, so I had a lot to fight for as well. And I'm very pleased with the results. Now I've got my first belt I can take home as well. Um, and I'm very pleased with that. Well, you get a ranking with that belt as well. Where do, where do you think that takes you? What sort of platform has that given you? Oh, definitely, it's going to put me on the mat. Um, one, two defenses, and then see from there, really. Obviously, there's a lot to learn. Um, I didn't have any amex experience. I just booked somebody who won the gold medal in the, in the Commonwealth. So, um, you know, I, I just got to keep keep training, keep getting better, and, and, and the rest comes from there. It, it, look, it always looks not so good when you when you watch it from outside, but when you're inside, it's very hard to hit me. That's why I got the name Pretty Boy. Um, Today, not so pretty, but we've got to win. That's the main thing. You did indeed. It was great to watch. Really good fight. Well done. We've got a couple of big ticket sellers coming up.